I am Charlene Favorite, the fascinating wife. You may also see me as the mindful mom on um, on social media. I am making a video today to talk a little bit about my favorite family homemaker commandments that I received some questions about. Um, not only did I have questions about this, but I also had questions about what was inside of the binder. So here we go. This is the little tour. These are my family favorite homemaker commandments for those who have not seen it. Um, 1 through 12, this is so helpful for me in the morning to read this um, just as a reminder of my homemaker pledge. Um, I am a homemaker, housewife, stay-at-home mom. It has so many titles right now, um, but I am that and I like to fully embody that by being the CEO of my family. Um, being the CEO of my family means that I am responsible for the inner workings of the family um, relationships. So I'm responsible for tending to the children and taking care and making sure that we are breaking those generational curses um, by instilling love and patience and peace and all of those positive things into the family household. Um, so this is my, my first page. And um, number one, wake up 40 minutes before the first person of the family. This usually for me means that I'm getting up at six o'clock in the morning. Um, number two, get dressed every morning even if you don't feel like it. I have to get dressed because if I stay in pajamas all day, I am going to be very um, lazy throughout the day. Number three, keep your kitchen clean and shiny. The kitchen sink. I love keeping my kitchen sink clean and shiny. Um, the kitchen for me is the heart of the home and so that sets the tone for me. When I start my day. Number four, complete your three routines daily. I do have a morning, afternoon, and bedtime routine. Number five, get off of the computer, phone, keep checking your binder, which is this. So that's important for me because it's so easy to get um, wrapped up in the computer and what people have going on um, on social media. <laughs> Number six, pick up after yourself. It's something that I am teaching to those around me in the home. <laughs> um, number seven, practice self-care daily. You cannot fill anyone's cup until your cup is, until your own is filled. So your own cup has to be filled in order to really um, pour into anyone else's life. I really believe that and I really um, embody that too. Number eight, smile even when you don't feel like it, it's contagious. Um, that is so important to me to smile around my children, um, just smile in general, because it does bring me into a more happier state of being if I am feeling um, a little tired, a little sleepy, and not feeling my very best. Number nine, laugh every day. There's always something for me to laugh at. I'm usually laughing throughout the day, whether it's with my kids um, or with my husband. 10, the children come before the home, and that is so important to me because I never want to get wrapped up in my home chores or things that I have to do at home and then ignore my children. Like, I don't want to say, oh my gosh, I have to mop the floor, and because of that, I can't spend time with my children. I don't want to be like that, um, and so I'm not like that. I put my children before my home. I just do make sure that my home is in a particular flow in order to accommodate um, everyone. Um, number 11, hubby comes before the children. This is true for me. This is my truth. Um, it may not be everybody else's truth because trust me, I've received messages and emails about it. Um, this is my truth. My husband is number one in my heart. He is always going to be number one in my heart. That does not mean that I am neglecting my children. <laughs> that does not mean that if my child is crying, I'm like, no, I'm talking to my husband and I let my child cry. That's not what that means. That means for me that my husband comes number one in my heart, very much so, because when my children grow up, <laughs> um, they're not going to be here. My husband is, you know, my husband helped me create my children. He is the co-creator of my reality. And so he deserves the respect and everything else that he, um, that he receives from me. Number 12, you come before everything listed above. I, me, Charlene, come before all of these things listed above. 
And that is important. That's why I have my nap time. That's why I have carved time for self-care. That's why I do um, my poodle retreats, which are just little ways to connect with myself throughout the month. This is why I do that, because I come before everything else listed above. Yes, I am CEO of my family. Yes, I am a home executive. Um, Yes, I am a homemaker and a housewife and a homeschooling mom. I am. But I come before everything else. And I have to remember that. And so these are my commandments. (laughs) Um, Let's get started to the inside. Okay. So um, this this is my daily schedule. It's tentative, as you see. 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. It just depends. Sometimes I wake up at 5.30 and um, I'm just up. (laughs) And I just stay up the whole time. But I wake up around that time, around 3.30 which is in a few minutes, I do my afternoon routine. Um, 4.30 is when I start dinner. Um, I like to be done by a certain time. Sometimes I even started at four, depending on the meal. Um, 5.45 is when I wash the babies and we have our bedtime. And then 7.30 to 8.30 is my self-care or my nap. Um, And then it's my hubby time. My husband's usually home before the hubby time. But um, that's when we have a lot of times our shows come on, we watch funny movies, we have a good time together. So um, that is that. This is my family um, divider. And so in my family section, I have my favorite family mandate. This is the mission state of my family. I hope you can see it. Um, I'll read it to you. (laughs) The time for a new beginning has arrived where family is no longer the chain that binds us, but the earth from which we blossom and the sky we learn to fly. No matter how the family unit looks, it begins with the parent and child. A relationship that holds the energy of the sun with power to break patterns and resurrect the spirit. The favorite family waits for no one. It begins to heal right here, right now. It recognizes that these sacred bonds can revolutionize the planet. Love, consciousness, and compassion follows this family all the days of their life and will live as a generational trademark forever. So this is the mission statement that um, really holds our family together. Um, This mission statement is important to me because, you know, starting the new year in 2019, um, I figured that we can't just simply want our children to um, think love and and purpose purpose and and positivity if we're not exuding that and if there's nothing to really show that on here. So this is why the mission statement was created. (laughs) My son is playing. Okay, Um, this is the favorite family basic parenting guy. This is a guy that I have for myself to put in the binder um, as a mirror of the favorite family and everything that's important to us. So I can maybe post this because this is a lot to read out to you, but it's a parenting guide front and back. You see there, just continues on. But the, the gist of it is saying you are the representative of your child's universe. You show your child how worthy you are and their self-worth comes from you. I have little ones and it comes from you in the beginning. This is just my um, idea and this is what I live by. And so this acronym BLAME, B-L-A-M-E, was created to say we don't blame our children. We don't blame our children for our, for the reactions that I would have. Um, they're not to blame. And so each letter outlines a way for me to connect with my children. So this is like a note to myself. This is an email to myself. It was printed out. This is a note to myself that I use. Um, B, creating the boundary. L, holding the limit. A, creating alternatives. M, mirroring emotions. Um, and E, having empathy. So this is, this is what I have. I can probably post this if somebody's interested or I can, I can choose another video to, um, to go over that. This is my wellness log. So each member of my family has a wellness log. Um, these are the products here that I'm taking, um, herbal compounds that I'm taking. It is on recycled paper, so <laughs> I like to use recycled paper for it. Um, and then each day of the week, I just mark off um, if 
the wellness log was completed for that day. So this is what I do. I still do um, Saturday and Sunday, but it's just what I do. This is my husband's wellness log. Um, and so I just photocopy it um, and then just go Monday through Friday like this. And each person has um, their own wellness log. Okay, so it's easier for me. I didn't do... Um, I didn't do this one. <laughs> they have the same, they literally have the same um, thing on their wellness log. Um, so sometimes, like, if I just do his, I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I keep these. Sometimes I keep them. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just recycle them. Um, but I usually would try to keep these um, just as something to remember so I can always look back and be like, okay, did you take this? Did you do this that day? Here are my routines. Routines tab. Um, my morning routine is broken up into three different categories of self care, family care, and home care. So for self care, let me see if I can. Ah, okay, because I'm having to hold it up in this position, my hands are shaky. Self care, making sure that I'm doing my own beautification ceremony, showering, freshen up, washing face, brushing teeth. I know it sounds like really elementary. Um, but really like washing my face, like with a washer, a cleanser, not just water, you know, um, brushing my teeth, taking that time to carve out, <laughs> brushing my teeth, using the mouthwash, flossing, styling my hair, washing my hair, conditioning my hair, um, combing my hair, oil pulling. You know, this is the beautification process. Um, not just the quick um, beautification that I feel like most, most um, homemakers do based off of conversations that I have. Um, the second one is meditation, my journal time, and this is my reflection inward. The third one is when I get dressed fully, and it says to socks or to shoes, meaning that I'm getting dressed from head to toe, um, down to knowing what shoes I'm going to wear for that day if I were to leave the house. Um, next is my tea time and my time that I take my herbal supplements. So my tea time um, is usually right before the children are getting up. Um, it's usually um, right before the children getting up. Depends. You know, my daughter, she would get up with me in the morning sometimes, and sometimes I'm doing all of this with her. So by the time I get to tea time and herbal supplements, she's, she's up, or one of the kids are up with me. Um, after that, I do my family care, putting away the dishes, um, I wash the dishes at night. Sometimes they are drying in the rack or drying on the side. And I will put the dishes up in the morning, even though they are cleaned. Or sometimes I even dry them at night and just put them up at night. But just in case, um, I do have that on my list to put up the dishes. Begin breakfast and lay out the herbal supplements for everyone else in the family. Um, I open up all of the blinds in the house um, just to have that fresh light come in. I make all the beds and pick up the rooms. So what I mean by pick up the rooms, meaning I am making sure things are off the nightstand, um, making sure everything is clean and tidy, um, just really cleaning everything in the room. Um, that means switching out comforters. If my children um, had an accident in the bed and wiping down the mattress pads and things like that. So just picking up the room. For home care, I'm swishing and swiping both bathrooms. That, mean that, I, that means that I go into the bathrooms, I spray my cleaner on the faucet, inside of the, the tub and the sink, um, the toilet, the three layers of the toilet, like I'm spraying the top toilet, opening it up, spraying the toilet seat, opening that up, spraying under the toilet seat, spraying the bottom of the toilet, around the sides of the toilet. <laughs> it takes like maybe three minutes to do for both bathrooms that I have. Um, but it is something that just keeps my, my bathroom smelling fresh. Um, I also reboot laundry. A load of day really does keep chaos away. So I do a load of laundry per day. <laughs> I know how that sounds. It's like, why do you do so much laundry? But that load of day just keeps me happy. I like having fresh, um, fresh clothes available and um, my children, and I don't have too much clothes. We don't have like a whole closet full of clothes where we just wait for one day um, to do it. So that's just what I do. Um, sweep all of the floors 
and then check my calendar and to-do list. Um, my to-do list is usually in another um, planner and then check my control journal. This is my control journal. So that's what it means. Like the journal that keeps everything in control, that keeps a particular flow for the family. Next is my afternoon routine, the one that I do around 3.30. I freshen up, maybe taking a bath, brushing my teeth again. Um, and I do this with the children as well. Um, setting the dinner table, I put on some nice music. My favorite music genre is smooth jazz, so that is what I always tend to put on. Or something else that, um, that will complement the energy of the home. Pick up hot spots. Hot spots are spots that can accumulate clutter or accumulate different types of things throughout the day. Um, just as an example, let's say my nightstand is considered a hot spot. That means that my nightstand may have two to three items on it from throughout the day instead of having zero items on it. So I would make sure to pick up the hot spot. Um, the, a tornado run is when I go through each um, home, or sorry, each room in the home. And um, I just make sure that everything is clean and tidy going into our school room, making sure that the toys are picked up, making sure that everything is tidy in there. And then each child has a room and then my room with my husband, the living room, all of that. So that's what it means by tornado run. I'm going through super fast. I'm not doing any detailed cleaning, just going through to pick up things off the floor and just to pick it up and make it look more lively. That can also include um, lighting another candle. <laughs> and then I start dinner. I usually start dinner around 4.30, but that's still on the list. Um, and then I have my evening routine. Again, it's broken up into self-care, family care, and home care. Self-care, washing my face, doing my, my oil cleansing method, brushing my teeth, and doing the coconut oil pull, laying out my clothes for tomorrow is what I do. Um, sometimes I may do a little bit more. I may do like a bath soak, depending on what poodery treat I have for myself. And the poodery treat is just a way that I add celebrations to my daily or my weekly um, as a homemaker. So it just depends. Sometimes that self-care list is a little bit more expansive. Um, next, I have family care. I'm laying out the clothes for everyone in the family. Um, I usually do this, to be honest. I usually do this one day of the week and I just lay out everyone's clothes but just in case I don't that's there bedtime at a decent hour for the children my children go to bed at around 6 30 um and I like it that way <laughs> I read a book to them sing them a song and then do some meditation and then for home care I'm cleaning up for 15 minutes very little time because I already did the afternoon routine and it makes my evening routine go a lot smoother. So this evening routine is so important because the way this evening routine goes um, bases how my morning will go. So I do make sure to make that small to-do list, fill in my planner, um, whatever I need for tomorrow. If I'm going outside of the home, I put on my bench. Um, I shine the sink, of course. I talked about that. Um, and then I mop the floors. I do mop the floors. I like to mop them daily because I have children and I love like the scent that I use, the essential oils that I use. And I just love the look of a really clean floor. So um, that's my evening routine. This is my weekly plan. So this is the plan that I have for the week. Um, if we're looking at like a, a overview, very general overview. Mondays, I say it's the weekly home blessing hour. I will go into each of these, but that is my time to really bless my home with um, with love, care, and tenderness by um, keeping clean and tidy. Tuesday is my planning day. I plan everything then. Wednesday, anti-procrastination day. Thursday is my errands day. Today is Thursday, so it has a heart on it. Friday is um, clean out car and purse day. Saturday, family fun day. And Sunday is that day to renew my spirit. Honestly, it's my day to recuperate and to get ready for for Monday. So next thing, this is from Monday, my weekly home blessing hour sometimes takes an hour and a half because I'm not doing a deep cleaning on this day. I'm just lightly going through. So I change all the sheets and bedspreads in each room, 
clean all of the mirrors and glasses in the house, clean all of the doors, and I'm spot cleaning. You know, I'm spot cleaning this. I spot clean the walls, I dust high and low in each area of the house. I throw away any paper clutter like mail. Um, I take out the trash. Well, I don't take the trash out, but I bag it up for my husband to take out. I do the same thing for our recyclable items. I put away all of the laundry. Um, I clean all of the open baseboards that you can see. If you can see the baseboard, I'm going to clean it. Um, and any zone activity that I have, and we'll get into the zones. But that is generally my Monday weekly plan. Tuesday, this is um, from this past Tuesday. But um, as you see, I didn't do any of these. <laughs> but um, I did the menu planning and the activity planning, the date night planning and family time planning. Um, the activity planning and the date night planning are two different things. So the activity planning is usually like homeschooling activities or if we're doing homeschooling field trips. Um, and the date night and family fun time planning, I actually do with my husband because he's the, he's the one, um, the money maker of the family. <laughs> and our date night and family fun time is dependent upon his work schedule. Sometimes we have our date night and family fun time on Saturday. Sometimes it's smack dab in the middle of the week. Um, sometimes it's all day Sunday. Sometimes it's all day Friday. So it changes, and what we do changes also. Um, I do the wardrobe planning, and that's what I meant before when I said that usually I'm planning out for the whole week already for what everyone's going to wear. I usually check the weekly weather reports. I already checked it um, last week for this week, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, live in Florida, so it's it's usually always sunny or rainy. Those are the only only um, options, really. I'm checking the herbal cabinet for restock, which I already did. And then these things that I didn't really work on this week, but passive income planning, brand planning, because I am trying to um, really plan like my blog posts and my YouTube videos that I've already recorded. So when planning is finished, go play. Spend the day doing something fun. And that is a reminder for me to just plan that. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't. Menu planning is like not even 30 minutes sometimes and everything else just flows. So after that, I just go have fun and I play with my kids. Um, Wednesday. Wednesday is my anti-procrastination day. It is a really like easy day for me. Um, I balance money. And when, when I say balance money, I mean just checking off. I'm making sure that all bills are paid. Um, and then I clean out of the clean out the fridge, um, and I write thank you notes. This week I wrote a beautiful thank you note to my grandmother because she is so sweet. So yeah, <laughs> sometimes I do have to check myself and find out why I haven't been consistent. Sometimes on Monday or um, Tuesday I find myself not being consistent with things. That's kind of rare because it's already like a program thing for me. But sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to spend more time outside of the house. And so if I spend as much time of the, out of the house and I don't have um, my, my things already done, sometimes that can put a rift in the flow of things. Um, but again, that's kind of rare too. <laughs> but if I have been consistent, I put on there and that I have. But if not, I put why. Sometimes it's, oh, I didn't get enough sleep and so I wasn't consistent yesterday with my planning. Um, so I just make sure that I fill it in too if I haven't been consistent so that I can hold myself accountable. Um, procrastination is the death of us, our relationship and our peace. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so that's a quote to live by. Um, Thursday is my errand day. As you see today, I didn't do any grocery shopping that was already done. Um, I still have to order homeschool, homeschooling supplies on Amazon. That'll be sent this weekend. Um, didn't go to the department store, didn't do the donation drop-off because I didn't have any donations. I did make a few appointments, didn't go to the library today, um, and I didn't buy any cards or flowers. Um, let me see here. The next is Friday. Um, Friday is my person car day. Um, cleaning up everything in the inside of the car, wiping down everything. Um, that is also the day that I plan for homeschooling. So um, with my homeschooling papers, I file them for the week, um, and then I write out some things. I do my self-care reset and clean up the laundry room. 
I know it's a fly in the house. Poppy let the fly in when he came. Oh, it's okay. I know, I seen it. There's a fly in my house. I'm leaving the door open. My husband came, he left the door open too long. Um, so next is about my zones. So this is my zone list. Um I do zones every day. I used to do it like one zone a week, but it was just not enough for me. <laughs> so um zones are just ways in which I divide my home to clean and focus on. So zone one is on, only on Mondays. Zone two is the the kitchen. That's on Tuesdays. Zone three is on Wednesdays. That's the bathroom and one extra room. That one extra room can be, you know, the office. That can be um, the homeschooling room. That can be one of the children's room. So I, I choose which room that I want to focus on. There's no order that I choose it in. I just choose it based off of how I feel um, or what needs attention. And then Thursday is the main bedroom, and then Friday is my living room, family room, and entertainment room. So um, this is my detailed cleaning list, and this is based off of what is in my house and um, what serves us the best or serves me best to clean um, and what serves us best to, to be tidy. So this is for the entrance, the front porch, and the dining room. So when I do a detailed cleaning, for example, for the entrance, this is what I do for the entrance. Clean the cobwebs, dust the window seals and front door, um, clean the switch plate of handprints, clean walls if needed, switch out plants if needed, dust the baseboards, straighten the coat closet, sweep and mop the floor. These are just details that I have for each section of the, the zone. So this is the dining room detail cleaning list. And then this is the detailed cleaning list for the kitchen. So empty the fridge, clean thoroughly, clean the stove and the oven, clear off islands and um, the counters, straighten up the drawers, vacuum inside of the drawers usually, wipe the walls, clean the fan or the vent filter and the hood, wash inside of the windows, scrub down the cabinet fronts, clean the light bulbs. <laughs> this sounds like a lot, but if you stay on top of it, it's not that hard. And if you're decluttered, it's really not hard. So, um, yes, I've, I've been um, decluttering as well. So, yeah. Um, this is for the bathroom and one extra room. So, remember I said that that one extra room can be many different things. Um, this is the detail cleaning list for those things. So, here's the bathroom detail cleaning list. Wash the area rugs, scrub the floor, straighten the cabinets. Clean the bathtub and shower, wash the shower curtains, clean the scale, um, declutter and make the restock list if needed. That's like for hair products or um, toothpaste or anything else that we need. Wash the walls, clean the mirror, wash the windows, wash outside of toilet to the base and behind the toilet too. Um, the next is the children's bedroom detail cleaning list. Polish furniture, straighten drawers and closets, clean the cobwebs, dust the rugs and wash the mattress pad, sort out the grown clothes or clothes that um, doesn't bring joy, clean the windows on the inside, clean out the closet, put away the stray items, change your mattress around, clean under the bed, dust the baseboards and clean the fingerprints off of walls and light fixtures. So that is what I do in both uh, or three of the children's rooms. Um, for the office, this is the detailed cleaning list. Just cleaning off the surface, throwing away pens that don't work, um, throw out all the trash or put items in a pending status file. That is really um, like a homeschool talk that I have. Like if it's files that I need to get to or what I do um, in homeschooling. Well, I guess that's another video. But what I do for homeschooling is just making sure there's like a checklist that I follow and just make sure that the children are... Um, just following and progressing naturally based off of what we've been talking about throughout the week. So I'll put that in like pending status and then file it. Do not stop to get online <laughs> because when I'm doing the office cleaning, I always tend to like gravitate towards the laptop a little bit more, um, towards the computer. And it's just like, no. <laughs> 
So that's just a little reminder for me. And if I did it, I check it and I feel great. Um, next is my laundry room detail cleaning list. And for the laundry room, this is what I do. I wipe down the top washer and dryer. I clean the gunk from the washer lid. Sometimes there's gunk that can be under there if you're not really looking hard enough. Empty the garbage can in there. Throw out old containers. Check the laundry detergent supplies. Sweep and mop the floor in there. I remove any cobwebs in there. Um, put away all clothing and look behind and beside the appliances. Um, so... <clears throat> all that is important for me and a the detail cleaning then the schoolroom detail cleaning list um, straighten up the closet clean the fingerprints off of the walls clean the windows straighten and declutter the toys vacuum the baseboards I mop rearrange their books and put away straight items declutter paper clean the cobwebs and file homeschool work so if you're interested in the homeschooling things I'll make a uh, you know, another video for that, but you'll just have to let me know. Um, next is the king and queen bedroom. I hate saying master's bedroom. It's too much for me. Um, bathroom detail cleaning list is like so. Demolding the shower just means that I put a particular demolding solution inside of there, um, that I make myself and then just, I just leave it in there. Um, and then here's the bedroom detailing list. Ruffle the mattress pad and turn the mattress and all of these good detailed things. <laughs> Straighten inside of the drawers. Clean behind the dresser and behind the bed. Wash and vacuum the baseboards and even mop. And then the closets. Very simple. Straighten the top shelf in there. Arrange the shoes. Clean the floor of the closet. And I'm pretty much good to go. Um... Yes, my children are in the background for those who may be wondering and or complaining. Um, I do not silence my children in the house. Um, this is their home, and so they just run and, and do things that they want to do. Um, this is my living room and family room and entertainment room, or a.k.a. den area. Um, this is what I do. Clean the cobwebs, clean the windows, straighten a bookcase, clean the wall unit, wash ledges. Um, clean off the printer table, clean out the magazine holder, wash the sofas, and that just means that I am washing, like I have a cotton sofa, um, or like like a cloth material, um, I would actually put that in the washer and wash that. Um, it doesn't take long to wash either. I just wash it, um, take the pillowcases off and everything, and then dry it, and then just put it right back on. Um, move the furniture and vacuum under where I moved it. Um, clean under cushions and wipe down the walls and clean the baseboards, of course. So you'll notice that the detail cleaning list may have repeated things from the weekly home blessing. All of this is just maintenance. You don't want to wait till your house gets filthy to clean it because trust me, I've been there. Not filthy, but cluttery and just everything everywhere. I've been there and it's no fun. I used to be attacked by laundry constantly, and it's no fun. It's just no fun at all. These are the details of the home tab. Uh, can you see that? Has it been like this the whole time? Mm -mm. Details of the home. Okay. Here's my laundry plan. Like I just mentioned, I used to be like severely attacked by laundry. Um, my top items is my hubby's uniform, sheets and comforters, towels, and cloths. These are the top items that must be cleaned for me. Um, so even if there's a day that these, there's a day that don't have like these items on there, I still do those items as priority. So let's say that I have to wash particular towels and cloth and dish towels that I like. I still would wash them on Monday, even though it says Friday. So this is just a little schedule that I had at one point to really help me with laundry. Mondays, dark clothing. I do laundry every single day. It helps me. I have, you know, there's five people in my family. I have um, children who may urinate or um, in the middle of the night or they may like mess up their shirts or something. And so just change them. So that does accumulate more laundry. But um, this is what I do. Monday is dark clothing. Tuesday is light clothing. Wednesday is dark clothing again. Thursday is light clothing. Friday is towels, cloths, and dish towels. And Saturday is comforters, sheets, shams, and pillowcases. 
This is my recycle list. I love to recycle everything that needs to be recycled. And there's new items on there. How fun. So <laughs> you can get this list from ecocycle.org. I have this list. I printed out. It's front and back. And it just shows like um, uh, all of the things that need to be recycled. And little recycling don'ts too. And when in doubt, give us a shout. You can always call them and ask. They always answer. They're like, yes or no. This is my budget list. So I did cover this with um, some recycled paper here. Because um, I'm not going to show everything that we pay for. <laughs> but it's just a very simple list. It doesn't have to be so complicated for us. We do have one person um, who is bringing home the money, which is my husband. So I just put, you know, the company and or reason why something was paid the date and the payout amount. So for example, if we have the light bill due, I put the company, or I put what it is, which is the light bill, put the date that is due by, and then how much is due for that light bill. And so this is really done, this is a budget list, it's really done um, every month. And it's pretty much the same every month too, so this is why I have it in this um, the sheet protector, so I'll be able to wipe things off, wipe off the checks, and then, um, you know, leave it for next time. The next is the phone book area. So for the phone book area, I did take out the pages that had people's phone numbers in it for the sake of privacy. But this is how the phone book sheet looks. It's so simple. I did it on, um, on Word, Word processor. Um, name, phone, address, any comments about it date and email and i did this for family members only um i didn't do it for friends because friends come and go <laughs> but i did it for family members um and close friends who i consider family members i put their information on here so whenever i want to send them something their address is already here and that's why i write out the little thank you notes and cute stuff um their email is already here and if they update it at any time they let me know and i just change it out the next one is for vacation time. My husband likes to take little mini vacays, even if we're in the same city or just a city over. You know, it's fun. It's our little getaway. That's how he creates memories for us, and I love it. So um, this is my vacation planning tool. I can cover this in another video if you'd like. Just send me a message about it. It is laminated, so I'll be able to check off some things. But it just says things that I need to do, things I need to pack, um, things to do before I pack, um, things to do before I leave, <laughs> um, and here are some things to pack in different categories that can help, you know, so clothes, toiletries, um, and then food, kitchen, usually when we go somewhere, we are staying somewhere where, um, you can cook or we have enough space. And even if we're not saying somewhere where we can cook, I'll just skip it. Okay. So next is the formula page. I'm still working on this. Um, but this is the area that I'm going to put the formulas, like all-purpose cleaners and where to use all-purpose cleaners. Um, it's just a really good guide. The next is my emergency outline, which I haven't done. This is a little a guide for the emergency outline, but I, I haven't done this Um at all I haven't but this is um, the formula section so all-purpose cleaner where to use it and tub cleaner I'm still trying to write out some things some formulas that I want to create other than my all-purpose cleaner that I shared before um, and then I'll put it under my formula tab so so yeah that is it that is that is the book that is everything there are still some things that I am adding to this book little by little um, I do have a book specifically for like medical records and things like that. I have a book for that. Um, so I don't keep that in here. This book is just um, for the flow of the home. Um, I do have some documents that I haven't printed out yet. I have not printed it out, but I do have documents that um, will help someone who comes over. It's kind of like the emergency outline of how the kids sleep and what things need to be done. And they have like, for example... Um, they have like a, a machine that they use and it just like has them, I forgot what it's called. It's a cell machine. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Um, and they listen like to the waves before they go to bed. And so that needs to be on. And there's certain things that they like and the air on the certain temperature. And so that uh, that's for cases where we, when I say we, me and my husband, um, have like someone watching our children, which is usually my mom or dad if they come from out of town. This is, I forgot to mention, this is my, um, this is how I meal plan. <laughs> so I meal plan before with you guys and I meal plan like on a sheet of paper. But I find that the index cards are like good enough. Index cards are, are really good. So um, yeah, I just put my meals on here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And um, I like it because on the back side, I can put the things that I need for it. I didn't do it this time. But I can put the things that I need for it and... Um, I can build my grocery shopping list based on that. So, but yeah, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Remember, I am not pushing, um, any particular lifestyle. I'm not pushing this on anyone at all. This is just what I do, just wanting to help and, and bring, um, inspiration to those who are homemakers or want to be homemakers and just, Kind of want to guide and I want to peek at, at what I'm doing. So this is nothing for anyone to feel offended by. I did receive some messages of, of those who just really confused and offended by the message. And that's not the purpose. Okay, that's, that's really not the purpose. So um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments or just send me an email. I'm sure you guys won't hesitate to do that. I will talk to you soon because now I have to do my afternoon routine. <laughs> Bye.